What's going on YouTube? BD Kane 721. Good morning. Good Friday morning. I'm coming back to you with my part two video of my box breaking series. Should be I'm, I'm shooting for ten parts. This is this is going to be the second video in that series. The first video was my 2014 Topps Chrome box opening. Today we are going to be opening Topps Update for 2020. I usually don't open this product each year. Um, I've pretty much stayed away from it for many years now, uh, not really for any specific reason other than just focusing on other things in my collection. But um, I realized that the Tops update for this year is relatively inexpensive right now. And it's really uh, something that isn't going to produce a lot of value, but in time it could so we've seen obviously great examples over the last decade or so of update series cards producing some fantastic value so i'm hoping that if i open this up and let it sit for a few years it might have a few uh, cards or a few players in there that could be of decent value but not really expecting much out of it 2020 tops update um, series comes with either an autograph or a relic card in every box. Uh, from what I understand, the autograph cards are extremely difficult to pull, and I'm not expecting to get any of those. Or I'm hoping to get one, but uh, more expecting to get the relic. I don't know what the odds are, to be honest. Um, so there's 24 packs in this box, 14 cards per pack. Uh, packs with a special insert may contain only 7 to 12 cards. So that's all it's telling me. I think there's also, I'm going to open it up because I think there's also a, like a solar pack or something in, in, on the top. Is that true? I'm not sure. I think someone said that to me or I saw that on a video. Yep. So it has a hobby exclusive. Uh, update series pack, which I think is our Chrome cards. So I'll put that aside for now. We'll, we'll open that last. Um, so let's see if I can get this to pop up. So you all can see it. All right, wish me luck. Again, not really looking for anything specific, just Trying to get maybe some decent players to put away, decent rookies. I don't even know what kind of condition the cards are going to be coming out of here. I'm a little bit, I'm always nervous about Topps flagship or this type of card stock. Um, I won't go through each player as a Kershaw, but if I see something that's of interest, I will. Looks like they have the typical flip around, upside down order here. Here's a Willie Mays insert. That's that 1985 35th anniversary version. Oops. They're not numbered, but that's a nice insert. I like that. I haven't really looked at the checklist to see what I should be looking for as far as photo variations go. But I'm sure I'll probably have one or two of those in here. Oh, Cologne, he's still playing, he's still pitching. Inaugural season stamp for the Texas Rangers, that's really cool, I like that a lot. Bryce Harper. 2018 home run derby. There's a nice Mike Trout. This is active leaders card. This is not his, I guess, his checklist card. Just an, uh, an insert active leaders card, I guess. Here's a Shogo Akiyama rookie card insert. Kind of cool. Ty 
France, no longer in a San Diego uniform. This is going to be a little bit of a long video, guys. I'm really sorry about that. hope you can stick with me. Give me a thumbs up if, if you like it. Um, got nice Mookie Betts. Zach Davies, who I think they tendered an offer to for next season. Rookie card of Tyler Henneman. This is a Sandy Koufax Decades Best Award winner, Sandy Koufax 1960s. Another insert. Okay. Anybody's interested in any of these cards that you see, just let me hit me up. Like I said, I'm just opening these up for fun mainly. Um, these cards are mostly going to be just prospecting. There's nice Kyle Lewis, rookie debut. Put him off to the side. Twenty years of the captain Derek Jeter. Another insert. See a number on them or anything, but it must be an insert. All right. So if you're looking for something that's relatively cheap in price these days, this might be a good option. You get a lot of cards. Looks like they're in good shape too. I'm just looking at it in the light here. Looks like these are in these are in decent shape. I don't see any glaring issues like I've seen on Topps flagship product. There's a Clayton Kershaw. It's an Eric Davis. I remember him from my younger years. Pretty cool. Like Mr. Davis, Joe Kelly. And a foil of Starling Marte. Foils are not updated, but they're really nice looking shine. A little bit of shine there. Alright. Already eight minutes into the video, and I probably have only opened up about four or five packs. <laughs> See if I can get through this a little bit quicker. Judge, Cal Ripken. The foil of Gavin Lux. That's kind of neat. Hopefully if he could turn into something decent, that wouldn't be too bad. It's a rookie debut. A lot of these players, I'm seeing the names, and I don't really know who they are. I have a lot of knowledge of some of the younger rookies. And we got a card upside down. Number to 220 must be a gold of Tuki Toussaint. Looking at the light, one corner might be a little bit rounded off. Kind of cool. It's hard to see sometimes those gold cards. The way they blend into the rest of the card. Chet, rookie debut. I don't know how many of the golds I'll get in this box? Maybe a couple, I would think.
Javi Baez. There's a Cal Ripken card. Not sure if those are short printed or not. There's a Josh Donaldson 1885 insert. There's a Mike Trout. Active Leaders again, another Active Leaders card. So I have not seen his base card, but just the Active Leaders card. Thomas and Cano, have fun being being on the outside looking in. Cincinnati Reds insert, 1970s. Howard, Decades Best, probably another insert, Aquino, Rookie Debut, what kind of year he'll have next year, Thurman Munson, 1985, that's pretty cool. Trout on one of those team cards. Oh, there's Mike Trout. Another Active Leaders card. I guess I'm collecting all the Trout Active Leaders cards. Derek Jeter. Not sure, I'll have to look up, there's an Ichiro. No, again, I don't know Ken Griffey Jr. I don't know if these are short printed or not. Sometimes the veterans are short printed. David Ortiz, King Felix. Oh, got something in here. There's a thick card in here. It says. Probably the relic. Let's hope it's of somebody decent. Since I'm getting a relic instead of an autograph. Zach Grinky. Not numbered, but looks like it is an all star swatch or patch, or whatever you want to call it. What are your thoughts there? Do you think he's a Hall of Fame pitcher? Uh, kind of wonder about that a little bit. He's getting up there in age. I think he's like upper 30s, 37, 38 now. Mark McGuire. There's that cranky. Griffey Jr. Auto. Okay, so we've got our relic. Let's just hope we can get maybe another gold or something, like a couple more foils or something. There's another Gavin Lux on base. Put him to the side. There's an Alvarez rookie cup. And we got one. We got here Arenado Decades Best. It was it was upside down, or, or so I don't know if that's a special insert or not. 2010s is not numbered. There's a Trout All Star Game card. Okay, looks like we got about eight more packs. So 15 minutes in, probably another few minutes, and I'll be done. Get to that silver pack.
Encarnacion. Avi Baez, 1985, 35th anniversary, Tino Martinez, there's a name out of the past, and Mickey. There's another trout. Guess what? Lake Leaders. Cornering the market on league leaders. There's a Mike Schmidt in my favorite Phillies uniforms from the 1980s. What's up, Ed Wesker Griff and Mike O? This is a Willie McCovey, 35th anniversary. So I've got the Mays and I got the McCovey. Another Derek Jeter card. One of his inserts, I guess they're doing some kind of special insert set of Derek Jeter. Okay, two more packs, and we're done. There's Griffey. And then the gold of Ryan Weber. So second gold of the box is a pitcher from the Red Sox. We're 1967 of 2020. And a Wander Franco, number one prospects for the Rays. What's up, MC and MP Fox? Don't know much about that person. Maybe you guys can give me a little bit of insight. Here's Trent Grisham, my favorite rookie right now. Three more packs. I'm starting to see some cards um, are starting to repeat themselves. We got a number one prospect of the Rockies, Colton Welker. What's his name from the Rays? I don't know if he's out of jail or what's going on out of Mexico. Last two packs. Hoping to see another foil. Thought maybe I'd get another foil in here somewhere. One problem. Prospect from the Diamondbacks, Dalton Varsho. Alright, last pack. There's an Acuna there on the back. Last pack, guys, and then we'll hit that silver pack. I'll have to go through these to see about the Phillies, Alec Baum. Let me know, Wesker Griff, if that's a decent prospect. All right. Let's go ahead and open up this silver pack, hoping maybe we get some color. I think I've seen some color come out of these. But I think the chances are relatively low, which, I, which is here. So we got an Alvarez. That's kind of cool. Cody Bellinger. Nice, Mike Trout, very cool, and a nice Gavin Lux. So actually, not a pretty, pretty darn good pack there of uh, these Chrome cards. Nice rookie, best in the game. 
uh, hot superstar and uh, supposedly a, another hot rookie coming up too. So can't complain about those. So overall, not a not a terrible box. Not really sure what to say about update series. I'm not a big update fan. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the long video. And I will be back again. Another box is incoming of some other product that I will be doing maybe next week or the week after, depending on when it, when it shows up. All right, guys. Hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon. See ya.